Hi folks, Rodney Kellum here again. Hey, I, as promised, I told you I was gonna make a quick video of this uh, Tundra Platinum that we have in stock. It actually belongs to one of the sales managers. He's been on vacation, so he hadn't even had a chance to look at it yet. So uh, I'm gonna make a quick video on it while I have the opportunity and uh, hopefully pass on some information. So I flip the camera around here. So one of the things about the Tundra Platinum is it does have uh, color cues. And so you see the, the, the black overlay there. Uh, or should I say the black fender wells. Uh, you have the black that's down here. This is kind of a standard feature where you have the black trim on the A-pillars there. Uh, but you can see that you've got the, the monochromatic uh, door handles there with the black trim. Uh, and then of course you got the platinum badging down there on the bottom also with the black trim. Uh, my limited model has chrome strip around here that kind of surrounds the windows. And so with the platinum model, it's all blacked out. Uh, they do have the gray wheels. Now, one of the things I kind of wish they had done is used the TRD off-road wheels. I think that would have been a great combination with that rather than the gray, but it still looks good. They do have the satin finish on the grill. Um, it's actually a good look with the package, the way it's set up. Um, the Platinum model comes, comes with all the extra features. So it's got the upgraded premium LED headlamps. Um, you've got your LED fog lights there does have the parking sensors both front and rear uh, it is going to have the the auto leveling uh, headlamps with the the premium led lights there the trd off-road running boards those are actually really nice uh, they've got a nice durable uh, surface on them uh, they're slip resistant seems you know some of the vehicles have the predator type tube steps and I'm not really fond of those because it seems like the, the steps so small that you kind of slip off of it sometimes uh, but those are really durable and really slip resistant um, one thing that about the platinum model it does not come with a TRD off-road package and so those are going to be the regular shocks I haven't had an opportunity to drive the vehicle maybe when he gets back and finally picks his vehicle up maybe I'll have the opportunity um, here, this is this part's different as well. So you've got the black trim here to go along with the platinum, platinum edition. You've got two, or excuse me, you've got one camera. You've got one light, and so when you're backing up and hooking up to uh, trailers and whatnot, your light actually shines right down at the ball, so you can see how close you are to it. And then uh, you also have that centering, and I kind of mentioned that in the video yesterday. Uh, on the camera itself, as you're backing up, you have a center line that shows you exactly where the ball's at, where you're backing up to the trailer. It makes it a little easier to connect that way. And then, of course, you do have uh, backup lights there. You got your four pin and your seven pin wiring harness. These have an anti slam tailgate. Now, this one has the added spray on bed liner, and it's actually pretty cool. It's got a nice, uh, durable surface on it, um, it's going to protect the bed. Of course, they come standard with a composite bed on them. Has the uh, LED bed light kit. This also has a feature where you've got the, the remote tailgate lock there, and they say that's you know when you have your hands full, you walk up, you can bump it with your elbow. You've also got the 110 outlet in the bed. On the back of the cab, and of course the crew max, the rear window will go all the way down inside the cab. That's kind of a crew max feature. Uh, but you've got two cameras on the back of the cab right there. And so one shines down in the bed, the other one shines back towards the trailer. All right, let's open it up. So one of the first things you're gonna notice is you've got the blue stitching here, and that's gonna be a platinum edition specific. Uh, you do have the the uh, remote folding mirrors or auto folding mirrors when you lock the doors. You got your blue stitching that we talked about here. You've also got it up on the dash. Um, this kind of has a unique design. So if you were to, to look at the videos on my limited model, the design is totally different than the seats, but it almost has like this uh, kind of a raindrop effect. And I don't know if you can see the blue inlay inside the the perforated holes there and this has the ventilated seats too that's what the perforation is for um, you got your eight-way power driver seat you've got lumbar support which is here but you also have an additional knee bolster up underneath for uh, additional leg support here you've got your heated steering wheel you've got your 110 uh, inverter for the back 
um, for your dome lights. You've got your auto dimming headlamps. Uh, it does have that remote uh, auto stop start feature, and we'll talk about that here in just a moment. And then, of course, you uh, you got your parking sensors in the back that if it detects an object, it will stop the vehicle before you actually run into it. Uh, you do have power tilt and telescopic uh, steering column. Inside the vehicle is very similar to a lot of the other models. Um, there again, you've got the blue stitching. It does say platinum on the dash over there. And it's got kind of a simulated, uh, kind of a satin finish there, almost like a brushed aluminum. I'm gonna start the vehicle up here. Now the digital dash is really, sorry about that. Digital dash is really cool. Um, I don't know if I'm so fond of the layout, and I know that you can go in there and customize it, but obviously I'm not going to touch anything since it's his brand new truck and he hasn't had a chance to look at it yet. Uh, but anyway, you can customize that dash and have certain things that will show up in there. Uh, let's see what else is different. It does have the panel sunroof that comes standard. Um, there again you've got the blue stitching in the rear as well now you also have heated and ventilated seats in the back another thing too and i don't know if you can see it uh, but that's your uh vent shades for the side windows there too other than that it's very similar to my limited model um you know the platinum as i mentioned kind of comes standard with everything the only thing that's not standard equipment i'm going to flip the camera around the only thing that's not standard equipment is it does have the tier d uh cast aluminum running boards uh so that is an upgrade the floor mats believe it or not do not come standard in the vehicle so there is an upgrade for that um, and i think a lot of it has to do with depending on what area you live in you know some people that are uh, in the northwest like myself we prefer the all-weather mats if you go over down south or somewhere else a lot of people will prefer the carpeted floor mats so they kind of give you that option to kind of order what you want uh, and then you can always pick those up through a parts department too. Um, I don't see a whole lot else that's really different about the vehicle. Um, as I mentioned, it does not come with a TRD off-road, so you're not going to have the rear locking axle. Uh, you don't have the crawl control. You don't have the downhill assist. Um, you do pick up, for some reason I thought it was supposed to have heads-up display, but maybe not. Maybe that's going to be in the future models um, I guess that's about it it's funny how mine has the uh, light gray interior on the headliner and whatnot and it's I'm sure opening the sunroof or the shade will make a big difference that definitely lots in a lot more light uh, but it's funny how the dark headliner makes it seem like you have less room you do have auto dimming rear view mirror, uh, excuse me, rear view mirror, but then side view mirrors as well. So when somebody comes on behind you with bright lights on, uh, it does dim the side view mirrors along with the rear view mirror. The other thing too, is that when you back up, I don't know if you can see it. Interesting, it didn't do it. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, so on mine with the limited model, and I don't know if it's part of one of the features, uh, but when you put it in reverse, the mirrors actually tilt down so you can see down kind of on the sides of the vehicle. Uh, you do have the, uh, they call it a panoramic view on this one. Uh, as I mentioned to you before, some people call it a terrain, a terrain monitor. And here's your view button here. So you can either get it to do a 360 degree view. You can also pick the color of your vehicle here. Uh, so this is just a kind of a generic picture, but you can go in there and select the color of the picture. And then you can also change, you know, where it's, your vision is either down low or up above. Once you put it in reverse, you've got your parallel parking where you can see the sidelines or the lines that you're parking within there. Uh, you do have that center marking that I mentioned to you, so it makes it a little easier when you're backing up to trailers and what have you. Okay, I think that's uh, kind of the biggest majority of the equipment. Um, like I said, it is very similar to the other models. 
Uh, one thing I wanted to mention to you, some people are, are going to ask, and I got customers out here trying to look at a brand new vehicle here, and unfortunately it's already gone. Uh, but anyway, uh, customers are going to ask, flip this back around, um, they're going to ask, what is the MSRP on this vehicle? So this one being a platinum model, the MSRP was $64,178. Um, my limited model uh, had an MSRP of $60,788. And mine does have the uh, the limited premium package. It also has a limited power package. And so there's a lot of features that don't come standard on the limited package that I had on mine. Um, but you can see that there's still almost about $3,500 difference between this model and, and the model I have. Uh, and unfortunately, the Platinum model does not come with the uh, TRD off-road package. So, uh, hopefully this helps a little bit. Uh, like I said, the kind of standard features about the Platinum is you get most every feature that you can get on the vehicle. Uh, the addition is that you do pick up the two-tone trim, so it's going to have a black over the fender wheels. It's going to have the black trim along the windows. Uh, where on the limited model, it's going to have the chrome trim around the windows. And uh, of course, the door handles are going to be chrome. On the Platinum model, they are going to be uh, monochromatic so they are going to be the same color as the vehicle but then they also have the black trim on them too so hopefully this helps a little bit uh, if you guys have any questions feel free to reach out send me a comment uh, take the time to like and share i know there's a lot of people that are uh, really enjoying the information i see it in comments all the time uh, but if there are specific questions you have and things i can help with don't hesitate to send in that comment or question thanks again have a great day